The printed circuit board is almost always covered with a polymer coating, commonly known as a solder mask. Solder masks protect the outer conductive layers from the elements and prevent nearby contact pads from shorting when soldering components. Normally the board is completely covered with solder mask, and openings are made only in those areas where you need to access exposed copper. So objects on these layers represent subtraction from them. We refer to these layers as negative layers. From a manufacturing standpoint, there are two key aspects to the application of the solder mask. The first is the accuracy of alignment with the copper you're trying to unmask. The second is the minimum width of mask bridges that can be made without the risk of tearing. For illustration, let us visualize the alignment process of the mask with the component layer. Layer displacement within a certain tolerance does not necessarily lead to the solder mask overlapping a pad's copper, as the openings are designed with some leeway. The value of this excess is defined by the solder mask expansion value, controlled by the corresponding rule in the mask section of the rules. The rule will be applied to all pads that do not have any other rules or individual settings overriding this. The offset value can be set individually for a pad by selecting the manual option in the properties panel for the selected item. This parameter is related to manufacturability, so its minimum value must coincide with the manufacturer's requirements. Problems with the minimum mask bridge arise where the unmasked areas are quite close to each other. For example, in components with dense pin spacing, the minimum solder mask sliver rule in the manufacturing section controls the minimal mask bridge that is allowed. Let's run a test using this rule. We are getting DRC errors regarding minimum solder mask bridge width, which means that there is no guarantee that the soldered pads are separated. So we have to adjust the opening value in order to achieve a manufacturable design. Let's go back to the solder mask expansion rule and reduce the magnitude of the solder mask opening without exceeding the board house's capabilities. Always choose solder mask parameters carefully to make your products manufacturable, and be sure not to push these limits unnecessarily.